When we crossed over to the South Island of New Zealand, something changed. It was as if exactly during this time, my whole mindset around travel and creativity shifted and it opened me up for what was about to come. That's why this episode is a bit different from the previous ones and also why this series will make way more sense to you if it did not until now. While we were still on the North Island, I was filming quite aimlessly. Not only because I did not know what to make out of it, actually even worse than that. I was trying to squeeze out a piece of content, a vlog, just something from literally every single day, every little moment, every event that was happening during that time. And I cannot put it into better words than my past self. Seriously, don't know yet what this vlog will be about. We really need a shower. We really need to do laundry. I really need to film a sequence for a video. I've already edited three. You don't need to know all that. Yeah, it's it's gonna be a vlog about the van life in between. The, the real life van life, the, the boring stuff. You're stoked? Buckle up for life. <laughs> I hurt my teeth. Enough. Enough already. Enough. In the making of this series, I've compressed and condensed most of the vlogs, days and content to the core. Like, to the essence. Did you see that? Almost slipped. And I think that it's necessary. Because really, most of the stuff is pointless. We decided to do, oh, almost hit myself, laundry first, for reasons. There are literally hours of footage of me walking through Wellington, we blabbering to myself. <laughs> Tripping a lot lately. Struggling with the camera. You cannot see me at all, can you? Uh, is even is the mic on? Doing laundry. Eating vegan fast food. Whoa. and asking seemingly deep, but actually meaningless questions. And now, I don't know, you know? No. We don't know. What is Wellington about? What is Wellington about? But yeah, except for that. There's more blabbering and more camera struggles, but really, after reviewing this footage, there is nothing of substance, nothing I can point to and say, this is something of value, this is something I value. This is something I hope helps you or inspires you, you, you watching this, nothing. And the worst part is probably that I'm literally summing it up like this, but still consider it worthwhile somehow. Wow, that vlog just has been all over the place. What is Wellington about? You tell me. See you next time. Is the mic on? Yeah, it looks good. Which brings me to the core of the issue here. It is so valuable to have these recordings, this footage. I thought this was all wasted, pretty much garbage, but it isn't. When I look back at these times, when I look back at myself, but also the both of us, me and Kat, for quite a while, I wasn't really sure, is that still us? Like, I mean, of course they are, of course we are. But are we? Are we still the same people? And no matter how weird it is or how much I may cringe at some of these memories, even when I look at the photographs in our apartment from that time, I'm really proud of those two. I'm proud that they actually went out to do these things, that they went out to travel. And I'm happy for them having made those experiences. But today I also know 
that's not us. Not anymore. Since we returned, our worldview, our ideas, our ideals, our relationships, literally our lives, and the whole world, pretty much everything has changed. And I think it somehow started for me when crossing over to South Island. In the following weeks and the footage I have left, I've pretty much, except from a few attempts, have gone silent on camera. I became way more selective with what I was shooting. And I remember that I was concentrating on experiencing rather than capturing. Without actually thinking too much about it back then, I kind of passed on the responsibility of telling these stories to my future self. When we were leaving the North Island of New Zealand, I may have subconsciously realized that this really is the last country we will travel. In a sense, I guess we were not only leaving the North, but somehow consciously ending this incredible experience traveling for one and a half years. Probably the best time of my life. Our last adventure. And ironically, all of this happened on Kat's birthday, so I'm kind of thinking back to it every year, but I was never able to fully make sense out of it. And you know, I, th I think it is important, I really think it is important, I really believe that. As travelers, we are so often stuck in the present. There's all this talk of being present and living in the moment and yeah, yeah, yeah. But we are literally stuck with these experiences. We fall in love with them. We seem almost unable to let go of them. And so we identify so much with the past that we Bring it along everywhere we go, unable to move on, always longing for the good old days. Until the good old days become so distant and fade that we ourselves become a shadow of the past, unwilling to handle our future. And this is what this is. This is what I'm doing. This is why I'm doing this. It is time for closure. It is time to move on. And I hope that you can find something along those episodes that you resonate with and figure out a way for yourself to move on. And if you're out and about to set out on your big adventure, at least prepare for it. But this isn't the end yet. We have a whole island to explore. And when we arrived on the South Island of New Zealand, I realized within the first minutes that I was not prepared for this. This place was literally more than I could have ever expected to find. And it has profoundly shaped my interests, my style of travel, and opened up my eyes for what I value in exploring the world. From here on out, this truly is about the best time of my life, our last adventure.